So Johnny Impact has reportedly finished up with Impact Wrestling. Johnny Neck Brace in a surprising finish. Actually lost to Rich Swan. I definitely, definitely thought Johnny Impact would be taking home the X Division Championship because Rich Swan had had a pretty lengthy run. Figured this was a high profile match that would help Swan. But really thought they were going to use Johnny Impact to elevate that title even further. Johnny Impact loses in one of the bigger surprises of Slammiversary, which was a phenomenal pay-per-view. And Johnny Impact's contract was reportedly up several months ago. And he was on a per-deal basis, or a per-night basis, per-appearance basis, to finish up his angle and compete at Slammiversary. So... It seems also that the two sides are possibly working towards a new deal. If you've read the interview with Johnny Impact just a week ago, he had said, and I would imagine in this period of time his contract had already run up, that he expected or wanted to be an Impact for the foreseeable future. They basically said he was going to stick around, that he had a good thing, wanted to continue to see it through. So... Perhaps he's weighing some options right now, but it sounds like there's a good possibility that he could return to Impact Wrestling. Now, if we would look at Johnny's time with the company, he initially made a debut right around the time that I started this channel, where he was appearing at the at, at their at the time Global Force Wrestling's first house show in years, and they did the ballpark shows with Jeff Jarrett, and they announced him and Taya being a part of that then there was the bound for gold where the title was up for grabs because alberto el patron was stripped of the belt he competed in that he was a surprise entrance and got one of the better impact zone pops in recent memory and then he went on to have a a uh, program with eli drake that was a little forced they did a a very very tna thing and brought him in the company start pushing him right away now, over the time, over time, Johnny Impact got several cracks at the title, but he didn't win it right away. But we knew that the title reign was coming, and that, in that sense, was not really rushed. But he eventually won the championship and had a pretty good reign as a babyface, turned on Brian Cage. Then we got Johnny the Heel, along with Taya Valkyrie and my boy, Johnny Bravo. And this was work that I was really enjoying. I actually texted my brother during Slammiversary and was saying, hey, I'm really liking Johnny Impact as a heel. I find him funny. You know, as a babyface, he always came off real corny. But the corniness works from a heel perspective. So what are your guys' thoughts? I will be around for the first half hour after I upload this video to talk to you guys about your thoughts on Johnny Impact potentially being gone from the company. If it's your first time here at the Impact Lounge, don't forget to hit subscribe. Peace.